impact investing is a conversation that has really, you know, gained traction over the last decade. And the conversation has become mainstream with investors, but this was not the case some 10 years back. And if you look at our challenges that we are facing, our social and environmental challenges, they've really grown over this past 10 years. If you look at the inequality, the number of people living in extreme poverty have increased. Let's take a look at Nigeria. We have 95 million people living in extreme poverty. And 50% of that amount live on less than $2 a day. And if you ask, why impact investing? Impact investing is a strategy that we can use to fund the SDG. Now, the traditional way we solve our development problem is through development finance assistance from sources like the public um, funds from the government. We have home offices and foundations and development finance. Put all of them together. It's not enough to, form our S to fund our SDGs. So, if we actually need to fund this SDG, we now have to start looking at the private sector. We need to channel funds from the private sector to fund in the SDG. The gap, as UN says, is about 2.5 trillion. But from the analysis here, we actually need about 3.8 to 7.8 trillion. That's the gap to fund the SDG, and we can't do it. The private sector has all the funds. In a research done by PwC, the total asset under management held by assets and wealth holders globally is about 111.2 trillion dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, less than 10% of that will adequately fund our SDGs. There is a gap that we need to bridge as regards to the SDGs. The government alone cannot do it would need people from the private sector to come into that space and impact investing is that strategy we can use to bridge the SDG gap.